Trick or treat! It's June. Yeah, but do I have a treat for you? Uh, what kind of a treat? I'm going door to door selling costumes for sprinklers, so when they pop out of the ground, instead of seeing sprinklers, you see little groundhogs! Ha! Ah! Why would I want that? You know, Groundhog's Day, pops out of the ground, sees its shadow. Come on, it's funny! Yeah, but Groundhog's Day is in February. Uh, okay, listen, listen. I, I didn't go to college, and I'm starting to not be able to afford my rent. Wait, rent? I thought you owned that house. Yeah, you and me both. Now please, just help me out. Fine, I'll take one. Oh, um, <laughs> there was a minimum purchase quantity of 100. Who even has 100 sprinklers? Beats me. Now give me the money. That'll be $3,000. $3,000? You're right. What kind of a person carries $3,000 cash? I'll send you the bill. Bye! No, I- oh. I would hate to be a door-to-door -door salesman. The stuff they sell is so stupid. You're the one who agreed to buy it. Why would you do that? It's a problem I've had my whole life. I don't know how to say no to people. It's my one flaw. Your one flaw. Okay, one of my flaws, but regardless, it's a problem. I always end up doing things that I don't want to do, like buying things or hanging out with people. Well, it's time to get rid of your problem. Let's make a bet. Did I hear bet? I want in. No, you can't be a part of this because you have the opposite problem. You say no to literally everything. All right, so let's make it a competition. For 24 hours, you have to say no to everything and you have to say yes to everything. Whoever loses has to become a door. A door? <gasps> the door salesman. Oh. I don't know why I was so out of breath. It felt like I just ran a marathon. I think I'd rather be the door. Ugh, no, you see, being a door-to-door -door salesman must stink. The stuff they sell is always so stupid. Yeah, which is why this bet is perfect. It'll finally get grandpa to start saying yes to things and it'll teach you to actually start saying no. You've got nothing to lose. Uh, yeah, we do. We're gonna become door-to-door -door salesmen. Speak for yourself. I ain't gonna lose. This is gonna be easy. I'm telling you, you're totally gonna win this bet because I'm gonna be right here making sure that you say no to everything. Let's try it out. You want some free donuts? Heck yeah. No. See? Easy. It's not easy turning down free donuts. I wasn't gonna actually give you free donuts. Hello? It's the girl from college! Wow, that is so specific. I know, she wants to go on a date with me this Saturday! A lot of girls went to college, which one? Does it matter? A girl finally wants to go on a date with me! What a coincidence that the second we make this bet, you finally get something exciting. You're right. This isn't real. What do you mean it's not real? Don't you see? This is just Grandpa pretending to be a girl on the phone to sabotage me and get me to say yes so I lose the bet. So what are you gonna do? I know exactly what I'm gonna do. Listen here, old man. I can see right through that stupid mustache of yours. That impression doesn't even sound like a woman. It sounds like a girl if she was being run over by a bulldozer, okay? I don't ever want to see your number pop up on my phone ever again. <sighs> that felt good. Wow, nice catch. That is so like Grandpa to try to sabotage you. Should we try to do the same thing to him? Y no. Oh, you're gonna be good at this. All right, now that I've locked myself in my own room, I just have to stay in here for 24 hours without any outside contact, and I'll win the bet. All right, maybe I should get out of here. Wait, don't leave! Mulligan? That's right, it's me, Mr. Mulligan! Why are you in my closet? And how did you get in there? That doesn't matter, I also don't know. But I've got you right where I want you. In my own room? I overheard that you're in a bet, and you have to say yes to everything. Is that true? <sighs> yes, that's true. Perfect. Now I'm gonna make you say yes to everything that I ask for the rest of your sorry life. You do realize the bet is only for 24 hours. That's fine too. Are you ready to be my servant? No! Oh. Yes. I'm ready to be your servant. Now then, why don't you take out your phone and take some modeling photos of me? You want them landscape or portrait? Portrait. I want the whole body. I'm not so sure anyone else does. Do you think it would be better if I took off my shirt? I've got a great body, right? All right, how many yes or no questions are there gonna be? I feel like we're just running in circles now. That was a yes or no question! Yes, all right, yes, you got a great body! Oh! oh. 
the rest of my life is going to be so much fun. Once again, it's only for 24 hours. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna take my shirt off now. <laughs> get a load of this email I just got. They want to give me my own TV show. I get to be the star. Ugh. That's awesome. Are we gonna do it? No. But why not? Well, because one, I can't say the Y word to your question, but two, because this is clearly just grandpa trying to get me to lose the bet again. You seriously think that's grandpa? He doesn't even know how to work a computer. I'm not taking any chances. I'm just afraid you're gonna end up regretting this. This is a TV show we're talking about here. I'm sorry, but uh, since when is my personal no trainer trying to convince me to say the opposite? Do you even hear yourself right now? Yeah. No. Oh, okay. Have you taken a shower this week? No. Do you not still write fan fiction about you and our fifth grade teacher, Mrs. Valentine, being married? Brian. Answer the question. <sighs> no. Go ahead. Turn down that TV show. <sighs> Come out, old man. I know you're here somewhere. We haven't even gotten to the best part. I've got my lotion brewing in the other room. That's a great hiding spot. If I were hiding there, I would never find me. Shut it, Larry, you're blowing my cover. Okay, but it's my turn to hide next time. Found ya! Oh, great, you see what you did? Now that I found you, you wanna give me a sponge bath? Ooh, I'll do it. Yeah, uh... No. Hi, I just won the lottery for a million dollars. Uh, congrats? Thank you! Uh, but unfortunately, I cannot accept the money. Why are you telling me this? Well, you see, not only did they find out about my criminal record, but they also found out about my tax evasion, so, uh, I have to give it away to someone else. I, I would give it to someone I like, but you're the only person I know. You're giving me the million dollars? Uh, yeah, so if you could just fill this out, and also if you could verbally state the word yes while I record it on my cellular device, then the money is yours. I see what's going on here. Yeah, that's because I just explained it to you. No. What? You really think I'm that dumb? You think I'd believe it if you wrote it down on a piece of paper towel in crayon? Oh, well, I accidentally ate the contract, so I thought the government would accept that as the next best thing. You can drop the act, because I know that Grandpa put you up to this. Is he home? Maybe he would like the million dollars. Y no. <gasps> oh, wait, do you still have my contract? No, I don't. Oh. <sighs> Who is at the door? No. That wasn't a yes or no question. Ugh, I know, I just, I'm getting so used to saying no to everything. It was just another one of Grandpa's schemes. But it doesn't matter, because I didn't fall for it. Are you even sure that these are Grandpa's schemes? Oh, 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 could you please help me? I'm just a rich, homeless, young, old woman who just broke her leg in an arm wrestling match. Could you please take me to the hospital? Told ya. Sorry, young old lady but I'm not gonna do that. Could you please just say yes? But I know that's you. Dang it! You're really getting lazy with these schemes, huh? Your first few almost had me. What are you talking about? The million dollars, the TV show, the girl from college. Oh, yes. I didn't do any of that, no. Mm -mm. See, I was with Mulligan all day. It wasn't until just now that I realized I could fool you into losing the bet. Wait. So all those things were real? Uh, yeah, I guess so. So every good thing that could have ever happened to me happened in the span of one hour, and this bet ruined it. Yep, I knew that this bet would pay off. Fine, then you know what, Grandpa? Yes, I'll take you to the doctor for your broken leg. So, Ryan, we agree that I win, yes, yes. Well, technically, it's more of Anthony loses. Perfect! Now that we've established that, I have a confession to make. I actually lost a while ago, yep. I couldn't take it, Mulligan was having me do a bunch of weird things. Clipping his toenails, clearing his sinuses. <sighs> you don't even want to know what he made me do to his underside. But that's besides the point, yeah, I started saying no a while ago. Grandpa, you know the bet doesn't end when someone loses, it ends after 24 hours, and since you just confessed to losing and there's still 23 hours left... Oh boy, I knew that over-explaining was gonna bite me in the tush someday. <sighs> Put on your door-to-door -door salesman outfit, because it looks like we gotta do this together. I only have one outfit. You know what I mean, just meet me outside. 
All right, Ma, I'll scrub your boil later. Uh, hello, sir. Would you like to buy a... Not interested! <sighs> yeah, that's why I made you go to this house. I call next house! Hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you so much for watching. For those of you who don't know, Andrew got married a few weeks ago, and me and his brother put together a little presentation slash video for the best man speech. If you wanna check that out, I'll be posting it over on the second channel. The link will be in the description down below, or the link at the top box on screen. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below letting us know what you thought, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when we post new videos. Follow us on Instagram at culture35 and on TikTok at realculture35 for some extra bonus content. And that's about it. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll see you again on Tuesday with a brand new episode of the podcast. And next week's video is coming out on Saturday instead of Friday. Just a heads up. We will see you again on Saturday next week. Bye, guys.